Today, we are visiting our last port of our very first Mediterranean cruise. We are in the historical city of Marseille, France. Join us, Major Sisters, as we explore the city center of Marseille, have breakfast there, and catch a train ride up to the beautiful Notre Dame de la Garde. Good morning again. Let's try it again. My camera died all of a sudden. I'm Raquel from MH Family Ventures. Today we are in Marseille, France. We are on board MSC Grandiosa for a seven night cruise. Today is night seven or day seven. Um, so we're approaching the end of our cruise. Um, so we just caught a shuttle with MSC from the port to the city center. And we're about to go off and have breakfast. We didn't eat breakfast on the ship because the food has been kind of hit or miss on this sailing. Um, but we're gonna, we're here in Marseille. We do not have a tour like all of the other ports. We're just off, we're gonna have some breakfast and um, see what there is for us to do. So we're just exploring on our own today. You guys ready? There's a cafe here, I don't know if there's... All right, and if you guys have been following our vlog series, you know that we've booked shore excursions through all the other ports. Um, however, I would say that Marseille is probably a port that you may not need to book an excursion for. There are tons of shops, restaurants, cafes, things that you can do right here. Once you get into the city center, you will have to catch a shuttle. Some cruise lines offer it for free. MSC did charge us, I believe it was $17 per person, but there's lots of things to do right here in the city center. Um, so you don't have to necessarily book a shore excursion. And as you'll see here soon, we made our own day by um, taking the train up to the cathedral. So definitely follow along and we'll show you guys how to get up to the cathedral. So I think I'm gonna have the English breakfast, which is coffee or coffee with cream, bread and butter, and then you can get a plain omelet or ham or cheese omelet. Um, so I'm gonna do that. catch the train up um, to the cathedral and probably catch the bus back down unless it's round trip we're gonna figure this out like we absolutely had nothing nothing planned in port um, so we're just seeing what we can get into we knew we wanted to go up there to get views of the city um, there's also an option to catch a ferry across to um, one of the famous prisons here that was part of a lot of books um, can't think of the name of it. Um, we wanted to do that, but I kind of heard some mixed reviews on like if the weather's kind of choppy, you could get delayed over there catching the ferry back and didn't want that. So um, yeah, I think the safest thing is for us to catch the train up to the cathedral, sightsee, and maybe find something else to eat and get back on the ship. So this looks like for the bus. So the train is back where we came from. So we walked over here. You catch the ferries from there as well as the um, city bus. But if you want to catch the train, it's back where we were by the restaurant. So we're walking back. I thought I had smell fish. Yeah. Yeah, they're catching fresh fish right here from the, the pier. It's kind of cool. Just 
So as you see here, you can make a full day here in Marseille. They do have like a hop on, hop off um, called the Color Bus Tour there. You can book that online or again, you can take the train like we're doing. So it's nine euros for the train. They have two different routes. Um, one route's gonna take you near like the port area and the other route's gonna take you um, to the cathedral. So we're gonna do that. He said it's up here on the right between these buildings. Huh? Give it to Dina, Dina charged hers. Oh, did you? Yeah. All right, and something to know about this train ride is that it is not a narrated tour. So if you want a narrated tour, I recommend doing the color bus. Um, this was literally just a shuttle up to the cathedral and back. It is round trip cost, um, or you can purchase a one way ticket. But something to note there is that the seating space is kind of tight. Um, the seats are pretty narrow. And then if you have long legs like I do, you definitely want to try to sit in like one of these sections here so you have more leg room. Alright, so even though this is not a narrated tour, I definitely highly recommend taking this train ride. Like I said, the cost was uh, pretty nice and you catch all of the nice views of Marseille. And once you get up to the cathedral, it is breathtaking. You have these panoramic views. So I highly recommend if you do nothing else in Marseille that you catch this train to go up to the cathedral to catch in all of those sites. Um, it's about a 15 to 20 minute ride up to the cathedral. It's a lot quicker coming back, but um, definitely do it. It was worth it. And as you see here, there is a free public beach located right here near the city center. So if you just want to get off the ship and go to the beach, you could do that there. There is a small boardwalk there. There are restrooms and restaurants nearby. And here is Chateau d'If. Um, again, this is um, the historical prison there. You can catch the ferry over. Now again, I do advise if you're on a cruise to be cautious because you could get stuck over there in inclement weather. Um, but I've heard that it's wonderful. I do hope to experience that the next time we visit Marseille.
So guys, it is beautiful inside and outside. So it's definitely worth coming up here to get these um, views. So you get a panoramic view of Marseille. Um, absolutely stunning. So guys, word of caution, if you take this train, um, there's no organization getting back on. People were just skipping the line. Um, and as soon as the train pulled, everybody just kind of piled in. So there's really no organization organization leaving um, the town up. But leaving out, it was a long line and no organization. And the guy got smart with us because we were trying to tell a lady who brought her whole family to the front of the line to get to the back. And he was very sarcastic with us. All right, now we're gonna try to pick up a couple of souvenirs. Guys, as you see, there is a long line, so I highly recommend getting out early if you're gonna explore the port on your own or do the train ride, because there is a huge line now. And we pretty much just got on, we walked up and got on. So um, keep that in mind, it's a nice price, but you don't wanna wait in this line too long in this heat. All right, something else nice about the uh, city center of Marseille is that there is a mall located here. So you can definitely get off the ship right into the city center and check out the mall and shop there. See, so yeah, I know this seems like a basic lunch in Marseille, but there's really not a whole lot of food options. Surprisingly, um, there's still a lot of pastries, croissants, things like that. Um, so yeah, but there's a lot of burger spots right here in the, in the city town. So we figure we might as well get a burger. Yeah, yeah, and the burger's terrible. It's like a Flanders patty. Mm -hmm. If you know, you know, but that's what it, this is. It's not good. All right, it is almost 2.30 and we are about to get back on the shuttle bus back to the port now looks like there's a long line up here we're in port until 6 p.m back on board times 5 30. i think i saw the signs at 4 45 was the last shuttle so be sure to check the times for that um yeah it looks like a really long line so keep that in mind Back to the ship. This is it for us for our trip. 
first Mediterranean cruise, guys. I am so, so tired. I'm ready to get back home. So wish I could just snap my fingers and miraculously get there. I'm so tired, ready to get back home to my family. Um, but I've had a great time. This has been amazing. Um, so we'll see what we have to do or what's here on board. Last, last night on board, um, we'll check it out, but it was a great day in Marseille. So guys, I got this purple rain drink here. So on the Easy Plus package, which was included with my um, cruise fare, you get any drink up to $9. I just have not been, I have not found a drink that I personally have liked. I, I tend to like tropical fruity fruit punches, drinks like that. They just don't have them on this ship. So I was like, oh, maybe this last day I'll upgrade and get something on the tropicals. There's like a section called Tropical Paradise which are like the only tropical drinks and they are a $3 upcharge. Um, so I thought I would get, they just, the drinks are very strong. So if you like strong drinks, you'll love them. I don't necessarily care for a strong drink. I just want a good drink, a good drink with enough, you know, to get you, you know, a little relaxed, but these are really strong drinks and not fruity at all. So if you're like me, you care for that. Um, you probably won't find on the ship. And we've pretty much been to all the bars and just haven't found it, but, there are, if you like strong drinks, they definitely have lots of options, um, especially on the Easy Plus package. I think the the value in their drink package is great, especially all the waters and sodas and things we've already had to drink. So we're making good use of it. I just have not had much to drink because I haven't cared for them. All right, mostly packed. It is tropical night. This is as tropical as it's getting. Probably won't even stay up for the tropical party because they do their parties like 11.30 at night. That just doesn't work for me. But we're here in the buffet. We're gonna try to grab a quick snack or something. Um, and um, we'll see if anything's any good. Then we have a show to go to. So we're here in the buffet. All right, we are off to the theater for a show. It's a 35 minute show. Um, all of the shows, well, the ones that we've been to have been um, in other languages, none English. So we'll see if tonight if they'll do even a portion of the show in English. I don't think so though. Good morning guys. See, I got my shirt on. That means it is disembarkation morning. It is now almost 9.30. Um, so technically we're supposed to get off the ship around 8.30 was our time. Um, but the buffet closes at 11.30. So what we're trying to do is we don't have, our flight is not till later this evening. Originally we were gonna get off and explore Barcelona. We even paid to have our bags checked through a company called Bags and Go where um, they will pick it up here in the cruise terminal and get your bags to the airport so that we were free to explore Barcelona. But we're tired, so we're not gonna take advantage of that service and um, we're gonna go straight to the airport. But we didn't wanna get off too early um, and sit at the airport. So we figured we'll stay on the, on the ship until they kick us off. <laughs> so the buffet closes at 11.30. Um, like I said, our off, we're, our, according to our paper, we're supposed to get off at 8.30. But I mentioned in the previous vlog that um, Mediterranean cruises, some of them, they have people getting on and off at each port. 
And when we got on the ship around 11.30 um, a week ago, people were still getting off. So we don't think there's a problem with us staying on to get off. So we'll see what happens. Um, but we're gonna just kind of hang here. We'd rather hang here where we have food and drinks and things and then get off and go to the airport. So we're gonna hang tight for another two hours if we can. If they kick us out or if they call our names over the intercom, I'll let you guys know. But <laughs> we're gonna take advantage. I mean, we paid for our cruise, we might as well. They're gonna let us stay on board, we might as well. So we're just hanging tight here in the buffet. We have all of our luggage and things. We did not check our bags because um, I figured if we checked our bags, they would see our bags down there and they probably would call for us. So we have all of our bags. And we're gonna try to hang tight here for another two hours before we head to the airport. Our flight, guys, we have a long flight or a long couple travel days getting home. We flew TAP Portugal, which is a budget airline. So we, our flight doesn't leave here in Barcelona until 8 p.m. We have an hour and a half flight to Lisbon. We have a 13, 14 hour layover in Lisbon. And so tomorrow morning we catch our flight from Lisbon to Boston. Then Boston, we're catching Southwest home, but we have a layover in Baltimore. So a lot of a lot of stuff going on. Um, really wish we could find a flight. I'm here searching now last minute flights, trying to get straight home, but it's just not. Like I said, the price we paid was probably about half the price if we would have just flown direct, but you know, like to save some money. So we won't get home until tomorrow at midnight. So we still have a couple of days. I'm gonna stop this vlog here though. If something interesting happens or if we get kicked off the ship, I'll be sure to, to check back in. But thanks again for checking out this vlog series. This has been an amazing 40th birthday trip. I'm already planning another trip back here to the Mediterranean. Um, it's been awesome, so um, great adventure. Be sure to stay tuned for a full ship review, a full itinerary review. Um, but like I said, it's been amazing. So on that note, I'm gonna go ahead and close out, but I might be back, let's see. If not, that means we made it home safely and everything's good to go. But thanks for Should watching and I'll see you guys next time.